Hi everyone, welcome to the Brew Bear Beer Festival, very kindly sponsored by my mum. My mum went on a um, brewery tour visit to Charles Wells Brewery in Bedford, and as part of the visit she was given three beers. Now my mum doesn't drink, so she very, very kindly donated them to myself, hence the, another series of the Brew Bear Beer Festival, um, sponsored by her. Third and final beer, in the previous two shows we had a McEwan's Amber and a Courage Directors, and up on this one we've got from Wells's, it's their Waggle Dance, tips the scales at a very, very respectable 5% ABV. Um, there's the crown. Today's special guest star is a tin opener. <laughs> Let's get it popped and poured and see what she, she is like. Now, I'm actually filming this about 8 o'clock on a Sunday morning, not because I'm an alcoholic, but I just need to get this particular series of videos finished and then off my iPad because I'm running out of memory space on it. Bit of piss, no real cannon smoke. Got this out of the fridge about 10 minutes ago and we've got a Charles Wells, Wells, Youngs and Wells, Wells, whatever they're called, glass. Right, let's get it popped and poured. We'll leave that one there. Quite like the artwork. Waggle Dance, I believe, is the figure of eight movement that bees make when they are indicating that there's nectar in the hive. Um, either that or it's the, the dance that you and I would do if you'd been chased down the road by a bee or a wasp. Um, it's quite a nice um, sort of a pale ale type colour, sort of a, like a burnt gold to me, that does. Um, nice two finger head. Um, a little bit, sort of maybe creamy colour bubbles. Nice carbonation as well. It's going for a stiff and see what she's like. Oh yeah, you get the get the sweetness of the honey. Get maybe a little bit, bit woody, a little bit herbally, bit of floral. That could be down to the hops though. It's uh, could be golden and fuggles. Anyway, nothing me gibbering on. Go for a taste. Cheers, everyone, um, and also big thanks to my mum for sending in the beers. And if you're watching this, pick up the phone, give your mum a ring. You only ever get one mum, so always always be nice to them. So um, thought of the day: pick up the phone, give your mum a ring, and say hello. Cheers, everyone. Quite sweet actually. Probably about a four out of five for sweetness for me. And equaling on the bitter as well, maybe a, a three three and a half to four on bittery. Um I think the hops are coming through on that. It is quite woody, quite earthy, a bit herbal notes. Very, very dry on the finish. I'm just going to pick up the back because that tastes like goldings and a bit of fuggles in there for good measure. Although it doesn't actually doesn't actually say. Um, would I buy this one again? I think I would actually. Um, summer months. That's quite quite nice. It's it doesn't reek of honey. Um, maybe you know if you, so for those of you who might, might make meads and things like that. If you, you know really go OTT on putting honey in, it's not that kind of taste. But it's not a, it's not a faint taste. It's 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 very smooth and very very balanced. I think this is the best one I've I've had out of the out of the batch. To be honest, very very good on a hot summer's day, and also a little bit different as well. I think that's quite a nice, probably like a gift beer as well because of the honey thing. You know, you don't often, you know, you know if you're giving beers to people as or buying them a few. It's always nice to have something a little bit different. I think this is a little bit different. So, yeah, quite like that one. Um, um, score out of me, I think that's probably a nice... Probably an 8 out of 10, I think. I, I quite like beers of this style. So, thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you again real soon, right here. My kitchen, or maybe my spare room stroke studio, for another series of the Brew Bear Beer Festival, right here on Thirsty Thursday. Next series is a three-parter, very, very kindly sponsored by my old mucker, Mr. Mark Enor. So tune in again real soon. Thanks for watching. Be seeing you.